Welcome back to another edition of our MRI scan sound series. In this video, we are going to be detailing the diffusion weighted imaging MRI scan sequence. This short shot echo planar imaging scan technique gives radiologists the ability to provide a fast diagnosis with improved image clarity. The DWI MRI scan sequence improves delineation when imaging anatomical microstructures and is a powerful diagnostic imaging technique that has specialized imaging applications in diagnosing multiple sclerosis, evaluating cancerous growth, and assessing cerebrovascular accidents. Join us as we explore the DWI MRI scan sequence. In this short video, we are going to be exploring the clinical applications of diffusion weighted imaging in MRI. We are also going to review some of the DWI scan parameters as well as talk about some special considerations that are made when MRI technologists prescribe this scan sequence. The DWI EPI scan is a single shot echo planar imaging pulse sequence with specialized applications when imaging anatomical microstructures. DWI MRI scans differentiate tissue with restricted diffusion from tissues with normal diffusion coefficients. Diffusion weighted imaging pulse sequences are highly gradient intensive T2 weighted scan protocols that create images based upon measuring the relative Brownian motion of the particles in the tissue. The basic scan theory behind the DWI imaging sequences is that the water molecules in normal tissue diffuse in a random Brownian motion, resulting in a dark or less intense signal when overlaid with the ADC images. The molecules experiencing relatively restricted diffusion will result in a saturation of signal, or lighter images in the tissue. Let's take a closer look at the MRI scan protocol to explore the imaging parameters that make diffusion weighted imaging possible. The DWI EPI scan sequences are unique in that they use the gradient coil instead of the RF coil to provide the scan echo. This scan modification allows for shorter echo times, reduced patient SAR levels, and more image slices in the same amount of time as compared to a fast spin echo imaging sequence. DWI scan protocols are T2 weighted imaging sequences that utilize partial case-based reconstruction algorithms to provide ultra-fast imaging reconstruction. This MRI scan sequence allows for diagnostic quality images to be produced in seconds as opposed to minutes, and that makes this scan sequence a preferred imaging method when patients are suspected to have suffered a stroke or trauma. DWI scan sequences provide high-definition images of the white matter of the brain and improves delineation when imaging microstructures of the anatomy, which makes it a preferred MRI scan protocol when imaging multiple sclerosis patients. Now that we have explored some of the clinical applications of DWI, let's examine some of the limitations of this scan sequence. Diffusion-weighted imaging is susceptible to wormhole artifacts when rotational movement is applied in the anterior-posterior direction. This artifact is more likely to occur as B-value is increased. To prevent wormhole artifacts, the MRI technologist may place non-conductive padding around the patient to limit rotational movement in the AP direction. Patients should remain as still as possible during this quick scan sequence. DWI scan sequences are susceptible to ring artifacts that may emanate from intense orbit signals. The MRI technologist can utilize sat bands over the orbits to suppress signal intensity and minimize visibility of ring artifacts. This next segment features DWI scan sounds from different MRI systems. Can you hear the difference between a 3 Tesla and a 1.5 Tesla DWI scan sequence? The sound of a DWI scan sequence can also vary between the different MRI scanner models. Let's listen in to some great examples of DWI scans from various MRI scanners. Please make sure to click the like button if this has been a helpful video and consider subscribing to our channel for more amazing MRI, CT, and PET-CT resources.
Thank you for joining us in another episode of our MRI Scan Sounds Explained series. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in MRI, CT, and PET CT imaging resources. Please click the like button below if this was a helpful video because that really helps us understand which type of content you want to see. Thank you for watching.